Hey guys, it's Dani. Today I'm going to show you how to fully rejuvenate a very dehydrated orchid. Dehydrated orchids will have very floppy leaves. You will be able to see some wrinkles in the leaves as well, but don't worry, things are very, very treatable. Now, mind you, what we're talking about today is just dehydrated orchids, not rootless orchids. So if your orchid has roots, everything is okay and most probably you just skipped watering day or you need to adjust your watering schedule to water more frequently. Especially if you water once a week, forget about that rule. Water your orchid whenever it gets dry and it can get dry every three days, five days, 10 days, whenever it's dry. If you have a rootless orchid, no matter how much you water it, it will not get hydrated. It needs to grow roots first. But if your orchid is simply suffering from dehydration due to not enough watering, what you can do to fully rejuvenate it real fast is soak it in water. You do not need any additives, any fertilizer at all, stay clear of clickbait additives or potions you might see on the internet. Use plain water, the water you usually use for your plants or your orchids. So what you need is a separate container. It can be a decorative pot or a different container if you don't keep your orchids in decorative pots. Get yourself water and just pour. Pour enough water to fill this decorative pot all the way to the rim of the actual orchid pot. Like so. You might notice it floats a little. That's okay. It only floats because the medium inside is very, very dry. But that is absolutely fine. So leave it like this for at least 15 minutes. If you forget about it for half an hour, that's okay. It's even better. Come back when it's time to drain the water and we're also gonna come back a few days later to see how this orchid is looking. So I'll give you some close-ups of how this orchid looks right now. All right, so my orchid has been soaking for the past 10 minutes or so. So what I want to do is drain the pot, discard this water, and then put the orchid back. If it's still dripping, you can let it be a little bit more and then drain the excess. Or if it's dripping like this, it's absolutely fine. You can sit it in its decorative pot and now wait as the magic happens. So I'm gonna pick this up in a few days, maybe a couple of days or so, and we're gonna take a look at the orchid again and see how the leaves are doing. I'll see you in a bit. All right, so here we are two days later. Why am I showing four? Two days later and my orchid looks quite a lot better. Look at that, the leaf is a lot sturdier. And let me just give you some close-ups. We don't have as many wrinkles anymore. They're pretty much almost gone. Give this orchid a few more days and she's gonna be completely hydrated. Now, us orchid growers, we tend to overcomplicate things when in fact, Orchid growing is very easy once you just go back to the basics. If an orchid is dehydrated, it lacks water. Give it water. We don't need to prepare all sorts of potions that you see on the internet to hydrate it faster. It is very well evolved to hydrate as fast as possible. Keep in mind though, hydration within a few days only happens if you have a good root system. In case your orchid is dehydrated due to lack of roots, I do have some videos about it down below in the description. First and foremost, to hydrate the orchid, we need to grow roots. It will not happen otherwise. Even if you soak the entire orchid, nothing will happen. Most of the orchids we grow are epiphytic and are so well adapted to drought that what happens is when they feel they don't have enough water, they shut their stomatas, their breathing pores. And in this way, they minimize water loss. So if we try to mist or spray or dunk the leaves in order to hydrate the orchid, it's just not gonna happen because those stomatas are closed. The only way to open them is just to hydrate the orchid through roots. It becomes a little more complicated when the orchid does not have roots, hence why I'll link it down below to those videos, because there are a few tips that I have for you guys in order to grow roots maybe a little bit faster and without complications. But with orchids that you just forgot to water, all you have to do is just properly give them a drink. And that is about it for our quick 
tip of the week. Hope you've enjoyed it. I will make a playlist of these very short quick tips, which I will link down below in these videos. If you want more orchid quick tips, just check the description. And that's enough for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this and I'll see you next time. Bye.